Hi, I'm Jerry Gibbs, and today I'd like to introduce you to this range of dehumidifiers from Ecor Pro. Desiccant dehumidifiers like this are fundamentally different from refrigerant dehumidifier. A refrigerant dehumidifier converts water vapour in the air back into a liquid, where it can be pumped or discharged into a bucket or a drain or a sink or something like that. Desiccant dehumidifiers don't produce that liquid water, they produce a humid air outlet. In this case, the humid air outlet is this smaller bore pipe here. And the length of this pipe is quite critical to the function of this machine. If this pipe is too long, it puts a resistance in the machine and the machine can't cope very well. On top of that, there's a high level of humidity that comes out of this, this pipe and we need to understand what we're going to do with that. We really need to discharge that on this particular machine, working in its applications, the best option is to have a permanent installation where this machine's vapour can exhale from. Otherwise, this would have to go to an opening to an external source. The length of pipe is critical. If we extend the length, we extend the resistance on here, and that's going to impact on the machine. The run of the pipe is quite critical. We'd like it to run horizontally, but if it has to run vertically, we would need to understand that any condensation that gathers in here could run down the pipe and condense into the machine. So that being the case, the suitable condensation trap would need to be fitted below it. The condensation or dew point temperature inside here is going to be quite high. So if the air around here is cold, condensation would form. The two ways that we can stop that or to reduce that is to make sure that the outer, the air around the pipe remains warm. If we couldn't do that, the better solution then would be to insulate the pipe to prevent that condensation from forming. We mentioned that we need to keep this pipe short. If we extend it, it puts the resistance in the machine. And so the, the solution here is to increase the diameter of the pipe to reduce that resistance. It's more logical to shorten this pipe and put the machine closer to its humid air outlet and extend the ducting from this machine because air travels down with this ducting much easier. This machine only has one fan within itself. That fan is capable of drawing humid air from the environment through the desiccant wheel, filtering it and pumping the dry air through. The machine is also driving the humidity off the wheel and sending it out of this pipe. So if we significantly increase the resistance in this pipe, it massively impacts on the flow of air coming down the dry air outlet. And sig significantly impacting that reduces the drying effect of the wheel and reduces the performance of the machine. Mounting the dehumidifier in the crawl space or the attic or the underfloor, vo underfloor void, the air is going to have to be ducted both in and out of this machine. To control the relative humidity on there, we could simply use the inbuilt humidity stat which is going to monitor the value of the air going through the machine. Or if you want to be very specific about controlling the humidity in the room, we would use the remote humidity stat, which is simply plugged into the machine and the sensor kept in the room that we want to control. Thank you for watching this video. For further information, please see one of the many tutorials that are available online.